intimal hyperplasia is a complication of cardiovascular surgery. So anytime you have a bypass graft or a stent placement, that can paradoxically cause injury to the vessel wall that can lead to intimal hyperplasia. One of the challenges with drug discovery for creating treatments for intimal hyperplasia is that we rely on mouse models that don't reflect the human physiology. So what we're trying to do is bridge that gap by creating artificial human blood vessels that better replicate what happens during intimal hyperplasia in a human blood vessel. Our primary focus in the lab has been designing this modular tissue engineering system to make tissue engineered tubes. So vascular tissue engineering is one aspect of that, so trying to make artificial blood vessels from human cells. So the way that we make these vessels is by starting with individual units of ring-shaped tissue, and then we stack those ring-shaped tissues together, sort of like uh, imagine a living Lego that's sort of ring-shaped that can create a tube. What we're planning to do is to create regions within that tube. So some rings will mimic normal human blood vessels. Some rings will mimic the intimal hyperplasia regions. In the end, we'll have these miniaturized vessels that are only two millimeters in inner diameter that are cultured in a bioreactor system that has fluid flow that replicates blood circulation. Once we have that model established, the next step will be to treat these blood vessels with existing drugs that are being used today to treat intimal hyperplasia, and then some drugs that have been used successfully in mouse studies, but have not been successful in clinical trials. And at the end of the day, we want to establish a model system that can help predict whether something that works with mice is going to work in humans. The exciting thing about this is that if we're successful, we will have realized the potential of human uh, tissue engineering to create models that replicate human disease. The next steps for this research would be to try to model other types of vascular diseases where there's a real pressing need uh, for new medical treatments. This project is funded by a grant from the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute of the National Institutes of Health. One of its goals is to help train students who will go into medical professions Really one of the most gratifying things about what I do is that opportunity to work closely with students and to help train them and get them to the point where they're more independent researchers, where they're asking their own questions and are able to sort of blossom into new scientists. And that's really, that's really one of the best parts of what we do.